This is Dr. Angelo Versace, Level 4 researcher at the SCP Foundation, currently presenting all findings on SCP-1012. Item number, SCP-1012. Object class, Keta. Special Containment Procedures. The Foundation has implemented protocols to cancel or to reduce the risk of generation of three of the five constituent sound tones that comprise SCP-1012. Frequency B and Frequency D. Frequencies Null B and Null D are, respectively, the antiphases of Frequency B and D. These antiphase frequencies cancel out frequencies B and D, respectively, within the range of the broadcast. The Foundation operates sound detection and active noise cancellation broadcast devices in 36 locations worldwide, which continually monitor frequency B and D and, when appropriate, broadcast cancellation signals at frequency null B or null D. Additionally, the Foundation has arranged for most of the world's electroacoustic transducers to monitor for frequencies B and D and, when necessary, broadcast frequencies non B or non D. This has been achieved through a combination of inserting design changes into engineering specifications of most commonly manufactured electroacoustic transducers manufactured since 1988. Inserting frequency null B, null D, or both into the transmissions of broadcast media and into the encoding of recorded media, including inserting design changes into the engineering specifications of recording appliances so that frequency null B, null D, or both are automatically encoded. And by manipulating the supply frequency of commercially transmitted and distributed electric power, so as to cause sound equipment and other electrical appliances to be capable of sympathetically generating frequency null B or null D. Footnote 1. Under normal conditions, frequencies null B and null D are each substantially higher than the upper frequency limit for mammalian hearing and therefore inaudible to humans, as well as other animals with greater range of hearing such as dogs. However, it has been reported that some humans exposed to strong broadcasts of frequency null D experience tinnitus. Under certain atmospheric and geological conditions, such as those prevailing in Taos, New Mexico, in Bristol, UK, the broadcasts and frequencies of Null B or Null D may be audible. Additionally, certain models of fluorescent lighting tubes and cathode ray tube televisions emit audible tones of sympathetic resonance with frequency Null B or Null D. Frequency C in the wild, most instances of the generation of frequency C have consisted of the whale song of Balinatra Svalbard, the Svalbard Whale. Through Foundation efforts, Balinatra Svalbardi became extinct in 1982, thereby decreasing the likelihood that the tone would inadvertently be generated in a location near the generation of other constituent tones. All documentation that specifies the constituent sound tones of SCP-1012 is to be kept strictly confidential. Description SCP-1012 is a chord consisting of five sound tones designating frequencies A, B, C, D, and E. The tones of SCP-1012 are Designation Frequency A Frequency 415.305 Hz Remarks Within range of human hearing, slightly higher than G-sharp Frequency B Ultrasonic Frequency C Infrasonic Lower than the range of human hearing, but observable at higher intensities in the form of vibrations Frequency D Ultrasonic Frequency E Within range of human hearing but rarely used in the chromatic musical scale. The generation of one or more but less than all of the constituent tones of SCP-1012 does not result in anomalous effects. The simultaneous generation of all five tones of SCP-1012 for a duration exceeding a few seconds affects a resonance of certain subatomic particles within range, causing them to disintegrate into their constituent elementary particles. Footnote 2. 
The described result is predicted according to the cosmological model set forth in Foundation Document 8001.2552KT.1012. Laboratory testing of the model is prohibited. Computer modeling predicts that a generation of SCP-1012 within close proximity of a mass, such as an astronomical body, is likely to result in an uncontrollable chain reaction resulting in the disintegration of virtually all matter comprising the mass. According to the model, once such a chain reaction is initiated, it will continue to progress whether or not the tones of SCP-1012 are continuing to be generated until all available mass is affected, i.e. a CK-class scenario. Proposals to use SCP-1012 or a modified version as a defense mechanism against hostile extraterrestrial threats, including SCP-1548 and SCP-2838, have been rejected due to the potentially disastrous side effects of SCP-1012 testing. Thank you all for watching, and a special thanks to all my patrons. If you want to help support this channel, go ahead and visit my Patreon for early access to videos, skip recommendations, and other Patreon benefits.